YouTube, it's your girl Miss Evenly Gorgeous, and I am here with an eyebrow tutorial. So if you are feeling my brows, if you're liking this look, or just anything, and this hair is from my hairline, Pure Beauty Units, um, if you're just liking it, hit the subscribe button below. Stay tuned and get ready to watch how I did these brows. If you wanna know how I did this face, I can upload that video as well. But right now we're strictly focusing on brows. So hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, cause I'm gonna show you how I did these brows, well how I achieved <laughs> these brows. So stay tuned guys. Hello, hello, here we are again with the bare face. So first I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ebony. Trying to get it to focus to show you guys, but it's not, so I'll type it below. You want to take your makeup wipe, cleansing wipe, witch hazel, whatever you have. Sometimes I use witch hazel because my skin is so oily. But in this case, I'm going to use my makeup wipe and I'm going to clean my brows, get all oils and things from around it. I'm going to let that dry. And some more. I have my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Primer, which is really amazing. Like, I love that stuff. It's hard to find things that minimizes my pores. In this case, Ulta Beauty came through for a sister, and I love it. Then I got my Milk of Magnesia, Milk of Mag, because I can't say that word, apparently. Um, so you want to take your Milk of Mag. You want to use like a cotton ball. I really, I realize that cotton pads don't hold as much product as a cotton, as a cotton ball. So you want to take your cotton ball. You want to make sure you dap your face in all the areas where oil builds up because you don't want your makeup to be shiny. No, 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 because you're gonna wake up like no, like all my pictures, my makeup looked the shiny, and you're gonna be very, very, very sad because that's what happened to me in the summertime. So, you want to get a little bit of more and hit around that nose because the nose do sweat. Uh oh. <laughs> the nose do sweat um, and carry a lot more and, hold, and holds a lot more oil. I'm sorry. So, you want to take your dual brush or, yeah, your dual brush with a spoolie on the end. I use e.l.f., which is about three bucks. And it does the job perfectly fine. You want to make sure your tip is nice and flat. No bristles or anything hanging out. You want to take your dip brow. Whatever dip brow you choose to use. I'm taking my Anastasia in the color Ebony. And I'm going to slightly get product from the side. Make sure your brush is angled correctly, directly going in the angle where you're going to apply the product. And some people outline their brows. I tried to do it, and that's that style was not that technique was not for me. Um, I know a lot of makeup artists who can outline their brows with a pencil and then fill it with uh, pomade and have a very very beautiful brow. For me, that don't work as well so I'm just going to fill them in I'm not gonna outline them and do any of those things I'm just gonna fill it in sometimes when you fill them they will look crazy but that's when cleaning up comes to part what well, comes into play and saves you so I don't worry about how they look when I fill them I just fill them I don't touch the front barely like I won't touch the front of my brows because I want that that effect of a real brow so just lightly as you go to the front of that brow you want to lightly apply product you don't want to be as heavy as you would in the at the back at the end of the brow like in the front because you don't want 
a box brow. You want more of a natural shape brow. So I'm going to take my Morphe palette with all neutral colors. And of course it has a beautiful jet black in that palette. So I'm going to take that black and apply it towards the end of those brows. And I learned this technique from Jazz. I watch her tutorials, well, her makeup lives all the time on Facebook. Her name is Jazz XJ, J, I believe. Um, and she is an amazing makeup artist. She responds. She makes sure you learn what you're desiring to know and things of that nature. And I learned this technique in her class and I haven't went back since. So, yeah, I take. I take some of that, that black shadow and I do apply it in the middle just because I do love a nice jet clean black brow. Um, uh, sometimes I do take a little bit and swash my brows upwards like you see me do a couple seconds ago. But you do want to comb that brow back before applying any product to make sure the hairs are in the angle where you're applying the product. And in my case, um, sometimes I get an arch, sometimes I don't have an arch. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I don't always want to have a tail going down. So, I'll just kind of like stop it there. But once I clean them, and, I, and I, if I don't like it, I'll add more product to bring my tail down a little bit more. Make sure you comb that brow up in the front because you don't want it all you don't want all your hairs to lay in one angle. You don't want that. And as you see, I'm like making a shape for the front because this brow here, that let me see, this is that brow. That left brow has been extremely hard for me to do lately due to the fact that I always get them threaded. And the last person who threaded my brows, she went down too far. So she made it so hard to shape that brow. And I have been having the hardest time getting that perfect brow. So lately my brows have truly been sisters and not twins. Um, it's rare that I can get twin brows anyway. But... She made it so hard. So I, I do my best with this brow. <laughs> See me just combing and combing. The other brow is good. This brow here, I have to put a lot more effort into it. But yeah, I'm taking some of that eyeshadow and I'm just lightly applying it from the middle of the brow to the end of the brow. They may look crazy now, guys. But this right here, that Pro Concealer in the color... Toffee is going to take these brows to a whole nother level. Trust the process. Trust the process. That's all I'm going to say. So you want to see my tube is almost empty. So you want to squeeze out that product. I used to apply it on the back of my hand. Now I'll apply it on a piece of paper towel. And I just take me an angle brush. Very thin and flat. I got these off of eBay. I love them. Such an amazing mermaid brushes. No brand, just a little cheap brand off of eBay. And they've been doing wonders since. So you want to take your angle brush, apply that product underneath, right underneath the brow, because you want to create your own shape. You want to create your shape. So even if you feel a man crazy, this concealer will help clean that brow up and help you shape however you will like it so in my case and you also have to drag the product down so in my case I take my concealer literally right underneath the hairs and I clean the top is a little more difficult but it's the same steps you want to take that product and apply it directly on the hair line or the hairs or whatever but you get what I'm saying so yes and the 
I noticed a lot of people use a lot of concealer. Me personally, I don't find a purpose for having a ton of concealer sitting around my brows. So I don't know what's, what technique or method that is. But for me, I don't use a lot of concealer. So I'm going to take the top is a little bit more tedious because you have to be very careful. You don't want to have that concealer sitting in your brow. Then it'll look like you're missing hair. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and drag this tail down a little bit further just because it looks a little too short for me so here we go here we go on the sister brow <laughs> on this case we're going to try to make her as nice and clean as possible so go ahead and clean those brows up this brow has been extremely difficult these last few months for me oh my goodness yeah so you want to see you want to take that product and lay it on top you don't want to leave no spaces because you want to clean 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 yes get a nice 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 i need to add more product on the end it looks like but There we go. There we go, sis. Put that product on that brow. There we go. Clean that brow. Nice. And see how concealer just saves your brows? Like, oh my God. The cleaning process is the most important process. That's what's going to give you that nice, sculpted, clean brow. comb those hairs upwards because you want a natural looking brow so yeah I'm gonna darken them up a little bit more just because I like that dark effect going towards the end of my brow yeah so you want to take some more of that eyeshadow and add it to the ends if you are like me and want those that jet black effect towards the middle and end of the brow but also keep combing so I take I'm taking a flat brush kind of thick but it's flat and I'm just going to bring my product downward and for the concealer at the top you want to make sure you drag it upward And this is optional. Sometimes I do put concealer in the front of my brow just to lighten it up if I feel like it's too dark. And you just want to do the same for the other brow. Drag that product upward at the top and downwards at the bottom. Make sure you get it nice and clean now. Who wouldn't love a nice and crisp, crispy brow? And you see, I don't use a lot of product. Um, some people be patting for days trying to get that product in. And I'm about to go back in the front and, and even out that brow with the other one make it a little smaller and once again this part is optional applying a little bit of concealer in the, in the front of the brow to lighten it up that is optional that's something that works for me when I feel like I went too heavy in the front. Alright, checking it out again. Here we go. 
we're going to clean the top of that brow up again to make it smaller. You definitely want to have even brows. Definitely want even brows. Depending on your hairstyle, you want to make sure both brows are as close as, as to sisters as possible. Um, hopefully you can get twins. <laughs> but if you're like me, and go get your brows threaded, and one bad thread can ruin your brows. So I have not had my brows threaded or arched in a long time. Due to a bad threading experience. But they look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry guys, I'm using my mirror on my little Morphe palette. So you want to take your setting spray and a sponge, and you want to moist that sponge. I guess damp it, I should say. And you want to go ahead and pat that product in your skin. If you're only doing brows, you this is what you want to do. You want to make sure you pat that product in. You don't want to walk around with concealer around your brows but this is just me showing you guys what you would do if you were only doing brows and not a full face but I'm doing my face so but that's what you would do check yourself out make sure you like what you got what you doing how you doing it and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that black um, eyeshadow and apply it towards the ends cuz I like my brows dark at the end dark dark yes yes there you go so there you have it this is how I achieve my brows guys hopefully it helps you in some way till next time bye